No, why is she in the bathroom? Why is she coming in the bathroom? <gasps> no. Are you serious? Blue, you in trouble, dude. I don't know how you are going to escape this situation. You're going to have a lot of apologizing to do for the whole week. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome on back to my channel. I am Cinderella, and if you are new, welcome on in. And if you are not new, welcome back. So I have my boy Blue. We're here playing the Flower Legacy. This is the second generation. And if you guys seen the last episode, he had a pretty good evening with Amira. You know, Blue is young. He's like 18 years old. He's living on college. He's living on campus, living the college life. And, you know, he got a little bit, uh, he got a little bit into Amira. <laughs> and it was unexpected. But, so yeah, um, Blue and Amira have been hanging out these past couple of days. They have been getting really, really close. They look like a couple, even though Blue doesn't want a commitment. And I think Amira agrees. But they definitely enjoy each other's company. So Blue and Zane is here. They're hanging out at this um, house uh, at the university. And they're hanging out with a couple of their homegirls. And here they are. Eden, Green, and Blake Jones, they are engaged. Um, but they live in this townhouse. And then the other one over here, uh, and this is the reason why... Uh, Blue is a little flirty. He's been flirting with this Sim, and her name is Lilac Lee. And all three of these female Sims were done by my good friend, no other than Gia XOXO2405 on YouTube. But if you know her on Twitter, some people call her Gigi and Gia XOXO. And she is a fantastic simmer in the Sims community. She made these three lovely ladies for me to play with. And I thank you so much, Gia. And Gia also has a, a series on YouTube, which I absolutely love, called Live Young and Free in the City. And she is premiering her finale. Definitely link all her social uh, media stuff in the description below. Okay? So anyway, so yeah. So Blue is just here. He's just hanging out. You know, this is the college life. He's just chilling. They have like a little study group going on. Everybody here is all college students. And yeah, he's just having a good time. Let me get him to play some more Juice Pong. And this time we're going to make some teammates. We're going to give Blue's teammate. It's probably going to be Zane. And it's going to be the guys against the girls. And it's going to be... Uh, we're going to do L Lilic and Zoe. And we're going to get them to play some Juice Pong. But yeah, so today I really actually just want to focus on um, Blue just hanging out, you know, leveling up his skills. But I also want to check in on the founder of this legacy, honey, Miss Daisy Vator. Daisy and Caleb, I feel like, are having some extreme problems. Yes, and look who's calling. Mama is calling. Yes, Daisy. Hey, honey, it's mom. When are you going to come visit? Oh, Daisy, I put all my love and effort into raising you. You can at least drive by once in a while and tell your dear mommy you love her, can't you? And he'll say, I'll visit you tomorrow, which he probably will. And then she says, okay, then I hope we see you. Um, we we'll hope I, I hope to see you there. So, yeah, so, yeah, uh, I'm feeling like, and Daisy is um, going through some things. And, you know, she is also having a new baby. Yes, her and Caleb has gotten pregnant. 
um so there is a new baby gonna be coming into the Vitor family so she's feeling a little bit emotional you know she's in her second trimester um but she's been working really hard at the uh, flower shop so while my boy here is hanging out with these lovely people we're gonna head over and we're gonna go check on Daisy yeah we're gonna check on mama all right, guys, here we are. We are with Miss Daisy Fator, which is Blue's mama. And oh, look at her. She is so much in pain. This pregnancy is a little bit difficult. She has a lot of back pain. Uh, she didn't expect to get pregnant, but you know how it goes, you know. Um, and her and Caleb has been arguing all week. That is why we seen Caleb um, in the previous episodes at Blue's house, like, constantly, because I guess he just wants to get away. So, yeah, they're going to talk some things out. It's basically basically because Caleb, you know, back in the day, he used to work for the mob, but he changed his career, so now he's, like, this artist, right? So with his new job, he has this co-worker or boss who has been a little bit in too much into their business and they've been fighting over basically each other's career what the hell hey what is this creepy shit going on mm. well that was creepy Daisy has the flower shop as you know and she's been working really hard even though she is pregnant but you know she it's it's her thing it's it's, it's the only thing that Daisy has that is hers and she's not giving that up for nobody so Caleb is like, he wants her to stay home, take it easy, which understandable. This is a difficult pregnancy. So, but Daisy don't like it because she doesn't want to be home. She loves her kids, but she loves her flower shop. She loves her husband. She wants to spend time with him, but he's working hard, just as hard as Daisy. And he's around this new female. Now, something has happened and we gotta take a look back right now. So Marley is Caleb's boss and she was outside just inspecting his work because Caleb was doing a cultural painting, a mural outside of the museum. And she's looking at him, he's looking at her, so she invited him out to dinner. And Caleb was like, thank you so much for inviting me out. She's like, of course, I love the way you do your work. I love, and he's like, oh man, you're making me blush. Um, it's kind of awkward, but, um, Caleb was like, yeah, a lot of people say that you were mean and stuff, but I think you're a pretty cool boss. You know, one of the best. She's like, oh, Caleb, you're so sweet. And they basically wooing each other. And I feel like Caleb doesn't even know. I think he's getting very manipulated by her. And by the end of the night, this is what happened. Yeah. So <laughs> as you guys can see. It's a mess. It's a mess. So they are arguing about him and the job. Daisy hates it. But she knows something is wrong. She just, you know, us women, we just sense these things, you know. And Caleb doesn't mean it. He doesn't mean it. He's just going through something I don't know. But it's so frustrating for the both of them. He made a mistake. Daisy doesn't know. I don't know if she will ever find out. But... Let's see what's going to happen. Daisy has to go to the flower shop. Caleb is like beyond late for work. She's like, do what you want to do. You know, she doesn't like the lady. She doesn't like her. I think I'm going to have Daisy confront this girl. Um, and I am, let me see. Let's see what the relationship is between her and Caleb. Yeah, they have something. They really do. Not as strong as him and his wife, Daisy. Which is, as you can see, it's slipping just a little bit. But yeah, he's going to have to end this because this is not good. Daisy is pregnant. Let's see how much. I think she's in her second trimester. Yeah, she's in her second trimester. She's about to be in her third. So this baby is coming. Um, Daisy, you're going to have to go. We're going to go to the flower shop with Daisy. She needs to, Oh, she is cursing him out big time. She's like, who are you texting? It's like, no one. I'm just telling my job I'm going to be late. Okay, so the flower shop is in Hedford on Bagley, if you guys did not know that. 
Um, that is where originally Daisy is from, where she was raised. And uh, we're gonna go. All right, guys. I'm not sure what is um what's messy about the shop right now. Um, Daisy looks really worried and upset, as she should be. I mean. Okay, there's her employee, so we're going to make her be able to, let's see, assign her work task, um, answer customers' questions, or restock. Let's, let's, let, let's let her restock for right now. There are some things that need to be stocked. Okay, come on, customers. Anybody going to come out today? It is a bit of a rainy day. It is Saturday in the early evening. And we're going to be at this flower shop for a little bit today. All right, come on, Daisy. Let's go and greet your customer. Friendly, greet customer. And then we're going to ask him, what's he looking for? <laughs> what's he looking for? <laughs> hey, sir, how you doing? I see you like this reef. But how much do you really want to pay? <laughs> Wait, where is the ask? Oh, no, no, don't ask him to leave. No, 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 sorry. Don't ask him to leave. We need to ask him. Oh, here we go. Retail. That's what I was looking for. Answer his questions. Okay, okay. Now there's a lot of customers. Okay. Greek customer. All right, so Daisy's making her, her rounds. Um, let's have, since there's a lot of people, let's have our employee answer any questions that they may have. Answers customers' questions. We are not making any money. Negative $135. Come on, we got to get, we got to get a couple of sales. And then we can end our night with Daisy. Let's see, let's talk to this guy here. Friendly, greet customer Daisy. It's her bestie right here. She needs to tell Rahima, like, what is up? But she's at the shop, so she's keeping everything professional. What value? I'm ready to buy. Are you? Where's the little, where's the little, uh, everybody's ready to buy, but where's that little Daisy can now take family leave? Caleb can take family leave. She is big. She's in her third trimester. Okay, but where's the little shopping cart thing that's supposed to go over their heads? Oh, let's just ring up the customers. Can there we go? Yes, ring up customer. Oh, ring up customer. Ring up customer Daisy. Take these walls down. Ring up you. Okay. So we got three customers that we need to ring up. Hopefully we can get to all of them and turn this negative into a positive. Okay, we're getting there. I just wanna turn this negative into a positive. Oh, he's getting upset, he's about to leave. Damn, I should make her ring up customers as well. Daisy, you talk too much, honey. Okay, finally, she's got him. She's got him. Oh, this little boy. Oh, honey, what you going to buy? I'm going to buy a bouquet for my teacher. Oh, that's so nice. It's my teacher's birthday. Got to celebrate the teachers. Yes, we do. Yes, we are in the positive. All right, so let's go check in on Caleb. All right, guys, catching up with Caleb. He is visiting Lilith. This is Lilith's little cute little home. And, um, uh, hey, sis. Well, 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 look who's here. You know that's how little talks. <laughs> it's like, hey, sis, let's, let's just talk to her. You know, let's just talk to Lilith. She's like, so, I hear you are in trouble. Because, you know, Daisy did go and talk to Lilith earlier. He, right now, he is just basically talking to his sister, like, what do I do? And she's like, you, you know what you need to do. You need to break things off, basically. But he's telling her, 
I, I'm not with this girl. Lilith was like, really? You're joking, right? Like, Daisy knows something is going on. He's like, Daisy knows nothing. All Daisy knows is that I go to work and she doesn't like Marley. Oh, uh, that's what the specimen's name is, Marley. Lilith was like, it doesn't matter, Caleb. You shouldn't be this close with another female, period. So, yeah. Anyway. So, he... Back up. Excuse me. Excuse me. What is this thing? Why does little has a baby? What is happening? What is happening? Why does little have a baby? And it's a vampire baby at that. Why does little have a baby? What's happening? What, 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 what what's happening? Lilith, 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 open Sims profile. Uh, sister, indoors if you person. Okay, uh, well, how do I check the, uh, where's the, uh, Lilith? Who she had a baby with? Hector! What's happening? I did not, what is happening? Hector? Hector Vitor with candy? Candy? And Lilith had a baby? Hector Vitor. Oh, 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 we gonna have to get the tea on this. We gonna have to find out the tea on this. What? What is happening to this game? That's that damn neighborhood stories. Ooh, no. How did this happen? I'm sorry, guys. I'm t I'm, I'm a little taken aback right now because uh, if y'all know Lilith, at least if y'all know Lilith from the Flower Legacy from my series, you know a baby is not in the cards. It's not even in, like, the, the nearest future. It's not even a thought. You know, she is a terror. She really is. But, you know, she's basically just teasing Caleb about his situation. She's like, I know you're going to fix everything. She's like, you just got to get it done, brother. You just got to get it done. We are back with Blue. And this whole study session from earlier today is now turning into a little get together. There are more people here right now. Oh, Amira just walked in. So did Miles. Gabby so, so was already here, though. Uh, yeah, so, so they all out here. I can't believe Blue is so, like, surrounded by all his ladies. And Mazoe was out there. There's a, there's a mirror. Is she looking upset? I hope she's not upset. Nothing really is going on. They just all hanging out. Come and talk to a mirror. There he goes. Being very flirty. Well, she's being very flirty. And he's walking away because he's so uncomfortable. Those hanging out with Demi and Miles. Okay, so we're gonna have some cake. What y'all laughing at? Blue, what you do? You broke something? Blue is not interested. I mean, he's not gonna ask any. Oh, he's drinking. Oh. <laughs> Total flop, Blue. Total flop. At least him and Zane is having a good time. I mean, he is having a good time. It is a little awkward. I can feel it in the air. The tension. The tension. <laughs> Gabby's always there, though. If you guys notice, Gabby is always around. Don't get upset, Gabby. Don't get upset. Okay, so Blue is, he feels overwhelmed right now. So he's going to go inside the house and go talk to, uh, what's her face? Lilac. Just talk to her, you know. She's like a breath of fresh air right now in this tense moment. And he's just going to talk to her and hopefully he won't get into any trouble. No! Blue, you're supposed to go inside. 
Don't have Lila come out here. Don't come out here, girl. Don't. You gonna get your butt kicked if you come out here. All these girls. Don't get yourself in trouble, Blue. I'm telling you. But he wants to. The only person that really seems upset right now is actually Gabby. And of course, Demi's putting in her two cents. He's gonna dance with uh, Amira because um, he really does like Amira out of everybody. I, I, I think he likes her the most. I don't know, let's check it out. Let's check out the relationships tab. Let's see who he really likes the most. Uh, he's not that into see, Amira. He's not that into. He does. He barely knows Lilac. Um, and let's see. With Zoe, Zoe, it's like it's not. They're really, really good friends. They they don't have much of a romance together. And then between him and Gabby, um. Yeah, it's the same. So I don't know why Gabby had got upset right there. He is more into Amira. Look at them dancing. Aren't they so cute? And Gabby, Gabby girl, you need to go do something with yourself. She is very sad. Drifting love from jealousy. Dad, you know, hey, Gabby, why don't you ask Zane? Zane to dance. I don't understand why she's so upset right now. She can't even dance. She can't even dance. They're just dancing, Gabby. Honestly. And Amira is just like, she is just like so happy, good lucky. She's in her element. She's in her moment. Because her and Blue have fantastic chemistry. They like don't even realize that they are surrounded by people. <laughs> Hey, poor Gabby, though. Gabby, please. How can we make her feel better? Go talk to somebody. Talk to Demi. Why are you upset, Zoe? Why is all these girls upset? Who? Oh, uh, Zoe is tense right now. He's like, yeah, we haven't hung out in a while. We should, we should get together one day this week. She's like, don't even... She's like, I know you. She's like, but she, look at her. She gets all giddy. She gets all giddy. And then she turns around and gets mad at the exact same time. She's like, who are you texting? It's like, no one. I'm just, I'm here. I'm here with you. We're talking, right? You wanted to talk to me? We're talking, girl. She's like, come on. So he's like, you know how I feel about you. She's like, really, Blue? She's like, no, don't even start. Yeah, look at Blue's face. <laughs> it's like, don't even start, Blue. It's like, I know that you have other girls. She's really pissed. I think, Blue, I think you need to step away. Now you're embarrassed. <gasps> Amira's right there. Please, uh, are they in the bathroom? So I don't think Amira's seen anything, right? Okay, just in case, Blue, I mean, go and talk to Amira, you know, be nice to Amira. Have a good time, you know? We don't want Amira, of all people, to get upset. No, why is she in the bathroom? Why is she coming in the bathroom? <gasps> no! Are you serious? Blue, you in trouble, dude. I don't know how you are going to escape this situation. You're going to have a lot of apologizing to do for the whole week. Z don't let Zoe stand there and talk. Get rid of her. Tell her to go away. Go away, girl. Go away. How you go? How you say go away? How you say go away? You gotta be mean, right? Go away. Go away. Go away. But not you. Not oh man. Go away. He is trying to apologize to Amira. Where's the apology? Oh, now she's acting like she's tired. He's acting he's asking for reassurance. Like, are we good? She's like, I don't know what the hell you up to. 
but I'm not liking this situation at all. I don't like it. It's just like one minute me and you are cool and we just have such a good, oh, Gabby, get the hell out the bathroom. Why is everybody meeting in the damn bathroom? This was a bad idea. Okay, Gabby, go away. Okay, Blue, you gotta disappear. Turn into a bat. Turn into a bat. Yes! Get the hell out! Okay, well, of course Amir was cool. She's like, lift me up, Blue. I need a damn drink. He's like, Amira, you know, I know. She's like, Blue, I'm so tired. I really need to go home. Oh, wow. She just turned her back on him and started talking to Demi. He's like, oh, God, this is really happening right now. All right, so everybody is hanging out back at the house after a night of, I guess, partying. Blue is saying, they just like, they're like, what mess did we get ourselves into? Blue's like, oh my god, I got some, I got some apologizing to do. <laughs> Actually, you know, they all, they're all gonna hang out with their families. Holidays are coming up, as you know, even in our real world, holidays are coming up for some of us. Um, and Gabby really wants to ask Blue to kind of like help her break the news to her parents. She's like, my parents, you know, because they they have a house in Totosa. So since Blue is going to visit his mom, as he promised, in the beginning of this episode, Gabby's going to go visit her parents at the same time. So they, they're basically riding together. They're going to travel together to, to Totosa. And she's like, I need you to help me break the news to my parents that I am not taking college courses anymore. It's like, Zane, you too. It's like, they're like, Gabby, I think this is something you have to do on your own. She's like, I don't want to. You guys are my friends. You're supposed to help me out. He's like, listen, you go first. And if you have a problem, call us. We'll be there. So Blue is here visiting mom as he promised. It's like, hey, mom. Wow. Look at that belly. It's like, hey, my baby, how are you? Thank you for coming to visit me. I missed you. Hey, you actually visited us like you said you would. Oh, you're such a good kid. We love you. It's like, it's like, oh, wow, mom, the baby is big. Any day now, right? It's like, yeah, any day now. Oh, I love them. I love them so much. They're so cute. He's like, you're not working too hard, are you? She's like, no, I got this. I got this. All right, so Blue's going outside. I don't know where Zane is at. Zane is here. Oh, my God. All the bluebells are all over the damn garden. Now, Daisy has hired a gardener who's supposed to be taking care of everything, but it just seems like... It ain't right. <laughs> it ain't right. Come over here, Zane, and help out um, your boy, Blue. Everything looks like it's dead. Yes. Everything is dead. It seems like. What's going on? Oh, my God. We're supposed to have excellent... Excellent flowers, and we're never gonna get there with this flower legacy with the flowers. The flowers are an issue. What's this brush time? Caleb is hard at work. Of course he is hard at work. Caleb is hard at work in the art studio when an arc of electricity appears and stretches into an oblong shape in the center of the room. As Caleb shields his eyes, oh, this is too much, two men emerge from the anomaly. Both introduce themselves as Gregory Landcrab. What in the quacking hell is going on here? The, this is like some sci-fi shit. The younger Gregory expresses his desire to commission a portrait of the elder Gregory and spouts some babble about this being the only point in the space-time continuum. 
where the portrait could be created without disrupting the balance of continuati continuity. Continuity. <laughs> Gregory indicates that Caleb will be paid handsomely for his efforts. Does Caleb paint the portrait or politely ask the gentleman to return through their portal? So if he paints the portrait, Caleb will gain fame and money. If he asks the Gregories to leave, Caleb's life will continue unchanged. Well, I mean, it's a win-win, I say. So yeah, let's get the fame, let's get the money. Oh, the kids are helping Daisy do the laundry. They're like, Mom, 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 look, it's spinning. Yeah, that's how laundry is done. All right, Blue, say goodbye to Mom because uh, Gabby is like, text, Gabby text Zane and was like, you guys need to come over ASAP. So they're going to go over and they're going to meet Gabby at Gabby's parents' house. This house is beautiful it is this big ass mansion um in Totosa oh, this is um Gabby's mom is down there but everybody else is inside but I wanted you to see this house and this house of course is 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 by uh, the ultimate uh Kate Emerald okay this is a Kate Emerald special baby all right let's look for Gabby's parents where are they I know the mom was outside oh there's Gabby's dad okay so let's have Gabby call her dad over and, you know, and she's got her friends here for support. And Gabby's look just like her father. Blue, you know, introduce yourself, everybody, you know, let's be friendly. Let's be friendly to dad because dad looks like he will bust you up. Demi, don't flirt with Gabby's father either. We know how you roll, Demi. We know you, girl. Look at Gabby. She's like, I'm just going to let him talk to them, get to know them, and maybe everything will be fine. Look at Blue, of course, taking charge. He's like, sir, you know, this place is amazing. He's like, your daughter's amazing. Thank you for letting us stay at your home. And he's like, we really appreciate it. And, um... Gabby's dad is like, well, how is everything? And everyone's like, everything is good. Everything is great. Zane is like, yeah, you know, we love it, but <laughs> college is hard, but we having a good time. Dad, he's like, I, I know you not didn't just tell me you're not taking college classes. He's like, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life, Gabby? She's like, Dad, she's like, I'm trying to follow my dreams. It's like, what dreams? Being a bartender? Are you crazy? It's like, no, I want to be a businesswoman. I want to own different bars and clubs all over the world. Can't you understand that? He's like, I understand that you're wasting my time and you're wasting my money. It's like, wait a second, Dad. You always told me to follow my dreams and I'm trying to do that. I can't believe you. He's like, well, if you're not going to college, you and your roommates are going to have to move out of my house. It's like, are you kidding me, Dad? Are you serious right now? So, Mr. Rodriguez, what are you doing for the holidays? He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> then he's like, Gabby, that, uh, uh, did he just kick us out of the house? He's like, don't worry, guys. He's not going to do it. All right, everybody's back home now, and Gabby pulled Blue over to the side. Oh, I'm so happy that... You know, you got to at least let your dad know. He's like, I don't, she's like, I know. I don't know what's going to happen, but don't worry about it, Blue. I got your back. I got everybody's back in this house. We're not going nowhere. We're going to stay here forever. She's like, but thank you so much, Blue, for like being there for me. I appreciate you so much. All right, so basically, oh my God, Gabby's so aggressive right now. Yeah, so this happened in the moment and um, I'm, thinking there are going to be some regrets, but it was a moment. And of course, someone is always watching. Wow, what an episode, guys. So that is Blue Man. I mean, he is a young kid, living the college life, like father, like son. But hopefully Blue won't get himself into too much trouble. He does have his heart for a mirror, but at the same time, he is exploring and trying to figure things out. So thank you guys for joining me today. 
And if you're new and you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. All right, guys, I am Samarella, and I'm signing out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh.